Hello and welcome to the speedy run of the combined 22 delivery quests for the In League and Ale Association. For a full breakdown of this run, check out the accompanying blog post linked in the description. To begin, the hunter and anyone else doing this run should get to Thorin's Hall and go into the inn. You can do this by running through Thorin's Hall, but you can also shortcut through the Ale Hall like we did here. Start the run by picking up all 11 Ale Association quests from the Ale Association Tavern Keep. You can see that each one must be completed within one hour of picking it up. Since this run only takes 25 minutes, we have more than enough time for them all. While we're here, we'll talk to the barkeep Runolf to collect fake Thistlebelly brew for the quest Quite a Tickle. At this point, your hunter can use the Return to Camp skill to travel to Oast Hare. If your hunter's campsite fire is not bound to Oast Hare, they can guide to Oast Garuth instead. Riding over land adds about two minutes of travel time. Feel free to mount up while still in the inn. In Oast Hare, talk to Wald Mugwort. First, drop off the Ale Association quest, Quite a Tickle. Then pick up and drop off the In League quest, Quite a Pickle. Now the hunter can guide to Bree. Note that for the In League, unlike the Ale Association, you do not have to pick up their quests from an In League tavern keep in advance. Since we often do not have room for 22 extra quests in our quest log, this is very handy. In Bree, mount up, if you haven't already, and ride to the Prancing Pony. In the Prancing Pony, talk to Barlam and Butterbur to collect fake Le Miel's vintage for the quest Never Further From Home, and fake Forsaken Ale for the quest One Drink Too Few. Then use your milestone to travel to Duland. If your milestone is not set to Duland, the hunter can guide to Bree, and then you will take the Stable Master to Kalendim, and then take a Stable Master mount to Duland. This adds about 1 minute 40 seconds of travel time. Once you're in Duland, take the Stable Master to Thrassy's Lodge. It's slow travel, but still faster than riding your own mount, unless you have a war steed. If you are traveling in a group, watch out. Alric at Thrassi's Lodge will emote when you complete each quest. Alric does an approximately 8 second emote for the first quest completion and an approximately 10 second emote for the second quest completion. While Alric is emoting, you cannot open a new quest pickup or turn in dialogue. However, if you already have a quest dialogue open when Alric starts emoting, you can still advance that dialogue. This means that if you coordinate, you can complete your quest simultaneously. Otherwise, you'll have to wait until he stops complaining. At Thrussy's Lodge, talk to Alrek. First, drop off the Ale Association quest, One Drink Too Few. Then, pick up and drop off the In League quest, One Drink Too Many.
The hunter can start their guide to Brie once the final person has dropped off one drink too many. The player does not get credit for the quest until the emote is done, but the hunter induction and Ulrich's emote take about the same amount of time as you can see here. From Bree, ride north to Thornley's worksite. At Thornley's worksite, talk to Wesley Hopwood. First, drop off the Ale Association quest, Never Further From Home. Then, pick up and drop off the In League quest, Never Far From Home. Now the hunter can guide to Ostgaruth. At Oskaruth, take the Stable Master to Candace's encampment, and then take the Stable Master to the Forsaken Inn. Both of these travels are swift, despite not being marked that way, and they both are free. Note that to have travel from Oskaruth to Candace's encampment, you must have completed or be working on Fires in the North, which is Epic Volume 1, Book 3, Forward. And to have travel from Candace's encampment to the Forsaken Inn, you must have completed or be working on Epic, Volume 1, Book 2, Chapter 6, Protected by the Eglane. If you do not have both of these, you can take the slow, stable master route from Ostgaruth to the Forsaken Inn and skip Candace's camp. This adds about 2 minutes 45 seconds of travel time. If you only have travel to Candace's camp, go ahead and take it and ride over land to the Forsaken Inn from there, as this will only add about 1 minute 20 seconds of travel time. At the Forsaken Inn, talk to Anlaf the Forlorn to collect fake stars of old cider for the quest All But the Good Cider. Now the hunter can guide to Mickle Delving. In Mickle Delving, mount up and ride to the Bird and Baby Inn. In the Bird and Baby Inn, talk to Carlo Blagrove to collect fake brandy wine for the quest A Convoluted Wine. Then leave the Bird and Baby Inn and mount up. From here, we are headed to the Ivy Bush Inn in Hobbiton. The fastest way to get from Mickle Delving to Hobbiton, other than a milestone, is for the hunter to return to camp to the party tree and then ride down into Hobbiton taking around 40 seconds. However, since a hunter can only be bound to one campsite fire at a time, the one in Osthair is a much better use of that skill for this run, cutting out two minutes of travel. The next fastest option is if you have a personal house near a far-ranging stable master. Then you can travel to personal house, ride over to the far-ranging stable master, use them to travel to the party tree, and then ride down to Hobbiton, taking around one minute, 15 seconds. Riding cross-country, as we are doing here, takes around 1 minute 30 seconds. 
why not use the Mikkel Delving Stable Master? Writing to the Mikkel Delving Stable Master and then to Hobbiton takes 2 minutes 10 seconds, slower than all of these other options. If you have more than one milestone available, setting your second to Hobbiton is your best option, reducing the overall runtime by an additional 1 minute 30 seconds. Or, if you are fortunate enough to have a second hunter in the group, they should bind their campsite fire to the party tree. In Hobbiton, go to the Ivy Bush Inn. In the Ivy Bush Inn, talk to Harroward Loamsdown to collect Bake Blagrove's Brown for the quest A Bit of White. Then leave the Ivy Bush Inn and mount up. From here, ride to the Green Dragon in Bywater. If you have a Hobbit or Dwarf character on Laurelin, don't miss Green Dragon Fridays at 7.30 p.m. UK time. Usually that is 2.30 p.m. server time, but not everyone changes for daylight saving time at the same time, so watch out for those edge cases. Those clock changing rascals. In The Green Dragon, talk to Barmy Rootnot to collect fake Bomber's Beard Lager for the quest Bomber's Breath and fake Beak Breaker Ale for the quest Not At Least Favorite. Then leave the Green Dragon and mount up. From here, ride to the Floating Log Inn in Frogmorton. If you are comfortable going off the road, you can ride around the north side of the hill and save about 7 seconds of travel time. In the Floating Log Inn, talk to Ponto Hopsbloom to collect fake more boar beer for the quest A Dark Prank. Now the hunter can guide to Esteldon. Once you are in Esteldon, take the Stable Master to Othrakar. Since the ride from Esteldon to Othrakar takes 1 minute 20 seconds, this will be a great use of a third milestone skill. Unfortunately, Trusselbridge and Esteldon are the only settlements in the North Downs large enough to get their own milestones. When you arrive in Othrakar, mount up and ride over and talk to Muli. First, drop off the Ale Association quest, Bomber's Breath. Then, pick up and drop off the in-league quest, A Member in Need.
Now the hunter can guide to Avondim. Once you are in Tinnadir, take the stable master to Oatbarton. While the runout time in Tinnadir is long, alternative paths to Oatbarton, such as Trader's Wharf to High King's Crossing to Oatbarton, seem to take as long with more loading screens. As soon as you transition to Oatbarton, dismount early from the Stable Master mount and mount up on your own instead. Then ride north to talk to Haragar Mudbottom. First, drop off the Ale Association quest, a bit of white. Then pick up and drop off the In League quest, a bit of brown. Ride back to the Stable Master and take the Stable Master to Brockenborings. Once you are in Brackenborings, dismount at the stone wall on the left and jump over it to talk to Foxglove Grub. First, drop off the Ale Association quest All But the Good Cider. Then, pick up and drop off the In League quest All But the Cider. Then, ride up the hill to the Plow and Stars. In the Plow and Stars, talk to Halson Tubwort to collect Fake Swill for the quest A Drink of the Best Character. Now the hunter can guide to Misty Mountains. Once you are in Hrimbarg, run up the stairs and to the left and talk to Oli. First, drop off the Ale Association quest, not Atlee's favorite. Then, pick up and drop off the In League quest, Atlee's favorite. If you land on the stone platform as you jump down, you do not take any falling damage. Take the Stable Master to Rivendell. Once you are in Rivendell, take the Stable Master to Akkad Candeleth. When you arrive in Akkad Candeleth, mount up and ride over and talk to Ser Thuithel. First, drop off the Ale Association quest, a convoluted wine. Then, pick up and drop off the In League quest, a simple wine. Now the hunter can guide to Rivendell. In Rivendell, ride to the last homely house. Go inside and turn left to go into the Hall of Fire.
In the Hall of Fire, talk to Sogodon to collect fake Dorwinian white for the quest A Different Reminder of Rivendell. Now the hunter can guide to Suri Kaila. Once you are in Suri Kaila, mount up, ride to the Stable Master, and take swift travel to Zigglegund. The journey from Rivendell through Suri Kaila to Zigglegund takes just over a minute, making Zigglegund a good candidate for a third milestone if you have one. Once you are in Zigglegund, mount up as you talk to Lofi. First, drop off the Ale Association quest, A Dark Prank. Then, pick up and drop off the Inling quest, A Dark Day. Now the hunter can guide to West Angmar. Once you are in Ahwar, ride over and talk to Nathalan. First, drop off the Ale Association quest, A Drink of the Best Character. Then, pick up and drop off the In-League quest, A Drink of the Worst Character. This is the second NPC that emotes during quest turn-ins. Just like Alrak at Thrassi's Lodge, the first emote lasts for about 8 seconds, and the second for about 10 seconds. Now the hunter can guide to Thorin's Hall. Once you're at Thorin's Hall, ride to the Refuge of Edhelion for the final pair of deliveries. Going left after the second set of stairs lets you ride cross country without risking falling damage from the short cliffs. Note that unlike in the starting quest area for elves and dwarves, you can cross the rubble to the left here. Forgetting that you can do that means going around the building, which takes about five seconds longer. At the top of the stairs, talk to Lendasil. First, drop off the Ale Association quest, a different reminder of Rivendell. Then, pick up and drop off the In League quest, a reminder of Rivendell. Congratulations! You have just completed the combined 22 delivery quests for the In Lee and Ale Association. This run takes about 25 minutes and results in a net increase of 4,400 reputation with both the In League and Ale Association, 11 In League badges of taste, and 11 Ale Association badges of dishonor. Note that if you use the Fateful Toolkit from the Fate of Gundabad Ultimate Fan Bundle, you get an extra badge from each delivery. If you have any questions, please comment below, and good luck in your adventures in Lord of the Rings Online!